time. Hey guys, welcome back to Sabres Forever. I'm John, and today we're going to be going over another Starfall Sabres lightsaber. But this one is inspired from Halo. This is the Gravity Hammer lightsaber. Yep, it exists. <laughs> So there are some really cool things about this, one of them being a custom sound font, another one being that it's got some really cool acid etching going on on the handle, and uh, some other cool things. So why don't we just jump right in and I'll show you exactly what's going on. All right, so here is the Starfall Sabers Halo inspired Gravity Hammer lightsaber. Whew, all right, I got it. <laughs> um, this guy, I was holding it actually this way for a little bit, and I was like, wait, it's not a gravity axe, it's a gravity hammer, and it's meant to go bang, bang, bang. So, um, yeah, Nick totally nailed this, by the way. I looked up a few photos online, and it's huge. It's gigantic gravity hammer. I mean, this is a, obviously a one-hander, and it has to be small enough to be considered a lightsaber, right? So, um in terms of that, I think Nick totally nailed it. <laughs> um, four people touched this saber to make it possible. So Nick built the primary saber. Um, we have Chris Skinner who did the acid etching along here. And then the sound font was made. There's actually a custom Gravity Hammer sound font on here along with a number of other sound fonts. Uh, the customer sent me quite a few. Um, and that was the sound font was made by Tyler from Kit Bash Custom Sabers or Kit Bash Customs. Um, uh, pretty cool, honestly. I'll show that off too. But you have your where your battery would go. You have your um, crystal chamber, your Profi Board V2.2, 28 millimeter bass speaker, um, holding it in the correct orientation with the axe portion facing you. The right side is the power, and the left side is the auxiliary. And then you have a stock NPXL V3 in there. Um, so nipple to nipple always goes up. Toss this guy in there. Get your custom boot up. And then throw your pommel back on and tighten it up with the blade retention screw. And now you can turn the saber on. Um, to, I'm going to switch actually some sound font. I'm going to switch to a sound font that's easier to understand because the blasters on this are very long. Um, it adds to the font um, and makes it different, but it's also very hard to um, demo the saber. All right, so this is part of the Starfall package. Every Starfall Sabres install comes with the Starfall Sabres sound font package. Um, so to turn the saber on, you're going to tap the power. To turn it off, you're going to tap the power again. You can start it without sound by double tapping. You can do everything that you normally could do apart from anything involving sound with it in this mode. Um, tap the power to turn it back off. With the saber on, you can tap the auxiliary, get blasters. To get lockup, hold the power while the saber is on and clash the saber. Release it when you're done locking up. Um, for blaster mode, hold the, the auxiliary button with the blade on for one second and it's, it'll give you a blaster block, but now you're in blaster mode. So every time you move the saber, instead of only getting smooth swing and accent swings, you'll get blaster deflections as well. So you don't have to constantly tap that button. Tap it to get back out. Um, to color change, just hold the auxiliary and tap the power. And when you twist the saber, it'll change colors. <clears throat> it 
And then, um, in order to get a force ability, hold the power for one second and release. You're not going to be able to hear that. <laughs> um, let's get a let's get a different font. Heroes journey. So you get like a little force push. Um, in order to play music with the blade on, hold the saber up and down and hold the power button for one second as well. It'll start to play music. To stop it, hold the power for one second and release. Um, and then to change fonts, just tap the auxiliary as you saw. Reconcile. Each font has its own blade style and it has its own... Um, uh, color for the blade as well. Uh, gestures are a thing, so you can pull the saber down, it'll turn on, twist it one direction, and then back to resting in order to get it to turn off. And I believe that pretty much covers it, with the exception of showing off the crystal, which is right here. Lots of blue on this uh, saber. <laughs> All right, let's just, we'll call that. That's fair. So when you're done, just pull the, save, the uh, battery out. Uh, it's coming with a charger like this. And you would just put the nipple up and it'll start charging when you plug it in. This is just a standard USB, oops, just a standard USB um, plug. And there's my soldering iron. Wanted to say hi this video, I guess. Always tired of being left out. Uh, and then when you're done, just tighten this back guy back up, and you are good to go. All right, guys, that does it for this video. If you like what you see and you want to see more, make sure to like and subscribe. There's going to be more videos just like this. Currently working on a thermal detonator, so that's going to be kind of cool. Hopefully it doesn't go boom, right? <laughs> um, but yeah. If you're uh, looking for a commission work, also, I'm always accepting commissions, so please reach out right here at john at sabersforever.com. Uh, I'll be sure to get back to you with a quote, and uh, we'll just move forward from there. So I guess I'll see you on the next video, and as always, may the Force be with you.